All right. Game four of the Boston Invitational. Here we go. It is going to be a good one. Pascagoula versus Jackson Academy. Jackson Academy comes in the game 14 and 0. Pascagoula comes in 7 and 1 or 10 and 1, I think, and they've won their last nine in a row. A good afternoon for our new people coming in. I am Eric Vaughn, a.k.a. EB, a.k.a. Coach EB, and I'll be calling the game here today with my sidekick, my guy from SSP, Talante Weber. What's up, everybody? We back. Game yes, two. This should be a good one. I got to see Jackson Academy probably about two weeks ago versus uh, Heritage Academy. That was a really good game. Uh, Mike, Mike Williams uh, was really, really good. My guys beside me just asked, man, who was, who was the new kid over there? I was like, man, pretty good. It's Mo Williams, son, Mike. So it should be a good one. I need my live chat to check in. This game brought to you by uh, Taking Away Law Firm, located right here in 124 East of Me Street, right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Taking Away uh, our serious lawyers who get serious results. I say if you want to get paid, uh, go to Taking Away. Also, Eris, Eris. Jason Hubbard's my guy. Air purifiers, Electrolux. I mean, it changes the air in your home. We breathe different at Eris. And also, Gray's Electrical Service, Gray's Repairs. Get it, my guy Fred Gray, for an all-electrical repairs, all type of repairs. My guy Fred Gray. All right, man, this is going to be a good one. I'm excited about it. Uh, and, you know, it's very interesting. My, my guy Fred Gray's number is 662-836-6670, Gray's Repair Service. We're getting ready to get started here. Starters for the nice game, Pascagoula, Dorian McMillan, Blake Nellis, Chris North, Rich, and Marquise Grady. For Jackson Academy, we got Mike Williams, Caleb Gator, Fisher Waldrop, Marcus Goodlow, and Tyler Lyles. All right, Bassa Bassa Invitational. Invitational, I'm sorry. Here comes Williams right away, and we have a charge. The first dash not. Now, here's the thing, Talante. If you are a coach, the very first play, not even five seconds in, your best player gets a charge. How do you feel? Well, I'm going to speak from a referee perspective. Okay. You got to know who the people are here to see. There you go. Come the on. People who you here to see, I, I'll, take a, I'll take a no call on that one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Let shout out OC Take Glory. You ain't me going tongues right there. That's it. <laughs> take a, <laughs> we hey, take just, a no just, call. Just, just take one. Um, but for a coach, it's tough. It's definitely tough. This game is going to be high intensity. Uh, Jackson Academy does play with a lot of intensity. This is my first time getting to see Pascagoula. Oh, good pass. And one. That basket is by number five, Marquise Grady. So here's what we got now. As you can see, Williams, who's, who's, who's giving great effort on defense, now depending a touch foul sends him to the bench. That's very true. I, 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 I hate that, man. I hate that. You're exactly right. You said a million. I mean, just it, it couldn't have been said any better by anybody. He pulling that. That's bang, way. Bang. Yeah. He was hitting him in warm-ups. That was real deep. That was Steph Curry range deep. McMillan. Okay, McMillan. Come on and throw two dimes. Number two, uh, Blake, Nettles. Blake Nettles. He's a sophomore. I think the better sophomore. Definitely. I, I, don't I, might, I might even say Blake's the best PG in that. You know what I'm saying? Best true PG in that class. There's a lot of sophomores in the state uh, at the guard spot that can really score. But as far as a true one who's not looking to score, I think Blake might be that guy. What another pass by Chris North. And Marquis Gray has recipient. Of two dimes. 6 2. Pagula. Yeah, the big, he's not he's not that bad for Pascagoula. Okay, Gator. That's, ooh, Give good. me that! Give me that! Everybody block. Keelan Rich with a big time block on that play. Gator from 
from the NBA range, no. Williams, inside, big fella. Let me have that. Good block. Give me that. Marquis Brady making his presence known early. Several baskets. Got all six, I think. If he doesn't have all six, he's got four of them. With a block shot. Here comes Nettles. Guarded by Goodlow. As you said, Nettles, the sophomore point guard. He has good size for that position, too. Probably legit 6'2". Like I said, he, he, he doesn't look to score at all. He, he just facilitating. Keelan Rich, last time I saw Pasigula, Rich was not here. But he's here He's here now. Looks like their face guard, Mike Williams. Ooh, oh, it's that's tough. a big time move by Tyler Lyles, the All-State linebacker. If he's not All-State linebacker, he should be. Plays football. I mean, I just like that move there. This is the this is the and the bunny the and one. Here's Blake Nettles. Good low put pressure putting pressure on him. Nettles goes to the basket misses the layup. Here comes Mike Williams. Rebound up go right by him. I go by you. I go by you. I pull up. I stumble wow. and I miss. I get yeah, the they, rebound. Yeah, they gotta call it. They gotta call this one if they don't. Well, that was, he was straight up, but he definitely got fouled on the, on the mid-range pool for sure. Marcus, Mike Williams with his first, and Dory McMillan, ugh, I like it. It looked good, but he didn't miss it. Oh, Williams with the spin out. Oh, let me have that Travel. says Keelan Rich. They've been a real hands with Mike Williams so far in this one. McMillan, oh, that's a try. That's a travel. Grady goes to the bench. We have number 11. We'll check. That's we'll good. Ooh, 6A or 7A? Oh, 7A, I think. 7A. It might be 6A, though. We'll check on that and get back with you. Some of our live chatters let us know. Is Pasigula 7A or 6A? Where is look. my live chat? I think they might be 7A. I need somebody to just say hello to watching. Goodlow for three. Man, no I trade you. I mark as Goodlow. Good pass. What a pass. Man, man, hey, that, that's, that that's a touchdown. Of course, I told Dorian you the Ma best true PG. I think that was Mac Miller. Did Mac no, Miller that? that was Nettles. Okay, well, Mac Miller gave credit touchdown. Because <laughs> he threw his hand up like he threw it. Touchdown, that was Nettles. Nettles. Mr. Layup is Lyles. Caleb Gator. I go back up with it. I'm Caleb Gator. Howard Holland says Pascal is 6 8. Thanks, Howard Holland. We appreciate you. Oh. Uh -oh. Good hands. Two and one. Where are you? It should have been and one. I lay you on Mike Williams. I pick your pocket and I lay you, Keenan nah, Rich. He, he put him in the basket on that one, boss. He Here's put him Blake in the Nettles, basket. Guarded by Blow. Put in the pressure. That's he is foul. just handling it like, like, like you're, he's not even there. I Goes up, bodies him, misses it. They get in there, get tough. Ah, Man, Chris. He went, he went in there with his eyes closed. He, he showed it, it, showed it. <laughs> Chris North. Hey, this is a good one. We got J.A. up 13 to 12 with three minutes and 22 seconds to play. We got a lot of stuff going on here early. We'll be right back. Right. We're back.
back. Jackson Academy loses it. Here's pass to Gula. Here comes Dorian McMillan. Kicks it ahead. Keelan Rich in the corner. All in one motion. I tray you. I'm Keelan Rich. And I look at the bench and I say, don't you know who I am? Fifteen, thirteen. Good jump off. Oh, I thought it was going to go. Ah, you a baby. Hey, you're a grown man out there, buddy. You a baby. I Tyler Lyles and one. Yeah, Pascal Gula might not have an answer for number twenty-three, man. He, he, he's too big, too physical down there. Too big. The question is, does Jackson Academy have an answer for a bunch of, you know, everything that? Uh, they have that offer. This is going down. This seems like early on. It's going down to the wire. Keelan Rich missed it. Still by Blake Nettles. Nora. Pull up. Uh-uh. Caleb Gator. Ah, uh, let me have that. Jason McKay. Some slot plays so yeah, far. Coach is, the ball coach is very upset. He's going to break the clipboard over here on the side. McMillan missed it. Gets his own board, puts it back up. I'm Dorian McMillan. Here we go with the 1 2 2 press to slow the game down a little bit. That's a foul. There he is. He keeps it. They're letting them play every now and then. Chris Man, North pushing it. You know, the, the only thing I hate about Mississippi that they don't call, they never call the foul to protect the shooters. Like everywhere else, I've been to a lot of games in some other states. Here, we never call the foul to protect the shooter. A lot of contact. Good pull up. Good rebound. Mike Williams pushing it up. Caleb Gator. Will he go by? Nice pass. Big three. I tray you. I'm number 12. We don't have your number. We don't have your name yet. Dorian McMillan's had a pretty quiet first quarter. Oh. Keelan Rich. Uh-uh. Tyler Lyles with a rebound. Caleb Gator. Gator, pull up. Bang. Yes, I trade you. I'm Caleb Gator. Not only can I guard, I can hit threes. I think we're going to have another close one in this one. Um, McMillan tough. Wow, shot to the left. I think it's going to boil down like in the last game. I think Jackson Academy is just going to be too disciplined down the stretch. And that's going to be the so same. That's, that's, your, that's your prediction. We got J.A. Prediction. Nah, it, 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 it actually looks the same way the last game looked. Just look at the scoreboard right now. 21-17. Williams gets it. McMillan gets a hand on it. Kicks it over to Gator for three. Nothing. No, missed it. All right, after the first quarter, 21-17 is your score. We'll be right back in here shortly.
<laughs> All right, we're back. It's 21-17. This has been the most Talante has been, you know, most points scored in the quarter all day. Been pretty balanced. Uh, Jay is, I mean, Keelan Rich leads Pasigula with five. Chris North and Grady has four. Mm -hmm. uh, for J.A., Caleb Gator has five. Mike Williams has four. And Tyler Lyles has four. And then Marcus Goodlow has five. So, Jay is shooting 56% from the field. And Pasigula is shooting 42%. Oh, what a pass by Blake Nettles again. As Marquise I'm gonna go ahead Grady. To I think Nettles might finish with 10-plus assists tonight. I well, mean, he's not even looking to score. He's just finding guys. He's got two, well, uh, you know, he's got two. That's three. That was three assists three. right now. Yes, sure. Assist number three. Skylar Cham Chambers last uh, quarter hit a three. We didn't know his number, his name, but he hit the three. Dang. And then, as we said again, he hits it again. Skyler Chambers, I trade you. Yeah, Skyler Chambers definitely looking like a three and he guy. He definitely looks like a guy that can shoot it. That's uh. what he does. Tough shot by McMillan. But, but you see what I'm saying? That's what I said about the ref. You got to call that foul. It's a foul. They're not protecting the shooter to the air. And here we go again. Here's Gator. Pull That's up jumper. Pull up. Ah. Mike Williams, and it stays there. You know, one of the things too, and McMillan, I, I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of McMillan, but I just felt like that shot, that last shot, was a tough shot. I, I wouldn't have called a foul there either. I just think that, you know, sometimes I mean, I mean, it, it was a tough shot, but we still have to look. Like they told you, you got to call it by rule. By rule, it was a foul. Okay. Ah, uh, there's a slip. It's tough. Good hustle. Oh, oh man, I'm surprised he got that one. Well, he got it deflected, and North uh, scores it, 24-21. Caleb Gator. Caleb Gator. Float game. Okay, Chris Nora. We, we gonna figure out we gonna figure you out. We're gonna figure it out. Cladarius Ross, Cladarius Ross, he's been hitting some couple couple of good buckets for uh Pastor Gula. Brings it up the court. Passes it over to Keelan Rich. Keelan Rich being favored by Mike Williams. Oh, good steal. Keelan Rich. Good dump off. And a good bucket by Grady. Taylor Gator bringing it up the court. Coach for Jay wanting them to call a set. They're trying to slow it down just a little bit to get everybody else involved. Mike Williams, ah, it's been tough for him. Pascal Gula making it hard on him. Oh, oh, what a nasty play. Nasty play, but Grady with a tough bucket. Grady's going to have at least, if he keep getting these easy layups, he might finish with a 70 plus tonight. They're finding him at will. Pascal Gula leads JA 27-26 with four minutes and 30 seconds to play in the second quarter. Uh, Mike Williams with a good mid-range pool. Blade Nettles walks it up. I got some of you guys earlier. I think Blake Nettles be those top PGs uh, in the state, regardless of class, even heading into next year. He's pretty good already. Can only get better. Nice size for position. A good 
bucket by Keelan Rich. Good range pool. Keelan Rich is another top 20, a top 10 guy outside the 2025 class here in Mississippi. Uh, he's been having a solid season so far here. Mike Wiggins with a tough shot. Misses that one. Caleb North. Uh, it's been tough for them. And one. Not Caleb North, Chris North. Chris North, correction on me. Chris North with a tough and one basket. Um, Jay going to have to put somebody out there to try to stay in front of Chris North, man. He's just going by everybody like they're not even there. Where are my live streamers at? That's all I need to know. Where are my live chatters? Can I get somebody? I see Howard Hollins. Can I get someone else to give me a shout out? 20, 31, 28, Pascagoula. I step away and they up, Talante. Yeah, uh, they, they, they made a couple big plays. Uh, Mike Williams got into the score books. Uh, but Pascagoula, the pressure's just been a lot for him. They're getting out running and getting layups, so that's the tail of it. That's what's going on. With the basket. Uh, Chris, Chris North has been pretty good for on number three for uh, Pascal Gula. He's been going crazy. Thirty-three twenty-eight. Pascal Gula opens up their biggest lead of the day. Here they are. Hey! Keelan Rich says, I dunk on you, and I look at you. Thirty-five, twenty-eight, seven-point lead. Ah, give me a piece of that. North with the rebound. Back into the ball game is Mike Williams. K. Cole in the building. What's up, baby? I, I'm surprised you ain't here. Yes, it is, Braxton James. It is a high flying game. Boosie Watkins, let's go, Raiders. Prada, yo, EV, what's up? 35 28, 150 remaining. In the in the uh, in the half, here's Williams. Fall away, no. Rebound, McMillan. Williams taking uncharacteristic shots. Like last time I seen, he was taking more disciplined shots. Right now, I just feel like he's trying to he's trying to force his way into the game instead of just letting it flow. I trade you. I'm number 14, and I don't have his name yet. But I trade you anyway. The Ten point lead, Pascagoula. Off his leg. Yes, it is. Good hands by McMillan. K. Cole on his way here, watching his team, Pascagoula. I know this is It just seems team. like Pascagoula just has more intensity oh, on yeah. both ends of the floor right now. Um, yeah, they really do. They're, Jay, playing, they're playing really well right now, along with, obviously, J.A. too, because they both are undefeated, so they both come in on winning streak. Oh, he traveled. Ah, it took too many steps. Well, you know, that's a move you tell the kids, stay in character, son. That's not what, like the step back, I don't know if that's what you do. Stay in character. I mean, I, I don't even know why he's shooting a jumper. He's just been going by guys he's all game. He's been killing. He's been playing really well, Chris Nora. Here's Gator. The J.A. needs to do something to get back in this, at least to cut it to at least – under double digits at the first, in, you know, in the first half. Good D right here. Oh. You know, I don't know how much now, this is the one thing, I don't know how much adversity J.A. has played under this year. You know, as far as have they been down, you know, like this. Is this their, is oh, yeah, this their uh, largest? Heritage was leading them too over there at uh, Heritage the other weekend. Okay. Uh, it's just been tough. I mean, you got to think, Mike. We has 
like six points. Yeah, uh, you know, he's been their he catalyst, so, you know. Um, he did just get fouled on the three-point shot. And his brother, uh, I think, I think he hurt. hurt. Yeah, I saw him. He on crutches. Yeah, it looked like I saw him. So, that's a, you know, that's another ten points that's not here today. Williams at the line to shoot three as his dad's watching underneath the rim. I mean, it's a tough game. Uh, like you said, both teams undefeated. And, of course, you know, we got these scout reports. So, guys aren't going to let you come in and do what you're accustomed to doing. So, uh, every time Mike Williams get the ball, they're making sure somebody's there, at least one or two guys in front of them. So, it's been, it's been tough for them today to get anything going. Knocks down two out of three. 38-30. Oh, that was good D. Caleb Gator, he's, he's really a good defender now. I will say that as Blake Nettles makes a great pass over to the young fellow, misses the three. Keelan Rich, that may be his second foul. Rich, the last time I saw Pasadula play as they lost the only game I seen him play. Rich was not here. And they are definitely a different team. And it was their first game of the year. And they look like a way better team, you know, that, you know, they look totally different. McMillan, here's McMillan. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! McMillan! Hey, that was, that was nasty. I, I got to give it to him. <laughs> hey, he, 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 took, he took off right he in front. He took <laughs> off. Hello! I'm Dorian oh, Millen. <laughs> oh my goodness. 40 to 30 at the quiet the crowd is just quiet right now. I don't know why it just didn't erupt. It was just so nasty. I I I you know Who? I yeah. did it for him. I think he did one game. I think he did one, I swear. Williams knocks down the first free throw. And knocks down the second. Here's McMillan. Float game at the buzzer. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. Nah, that's a good game here. Good that's game, good. 40 points. We're up. We're looking for about 80 points here in this one so far. I, I, I think the second half, they're probably going to slow it down. Uh, Jackson Academy going to have to make an adjustment if they want to stay in this one. 40-32 is your score. We'll be right back at the second half.
All right, we're at half. It's 40-32. We're getting ready to have Jackson State head coach Mo Williams on. His son Mike Williams played for Jackson Academy. We got NBA, former NBA superstar Mo Williams. Up, now Jackson State head coach Mo Williams in the building. What's up, Mo? What's going on? Coach Mo, I'm sorry. There you go. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, uh, Coach, you know, we'll talk a little bit about Jackson State, but first let's talk about your son, Mike Williams. You know, I got a chance to see him first play in the summertime. Really impressed with him. Then I've got a chance to see him also uh, all year long a little bit. I've seen him play several times at Jackson Academy. Tell me, uh, like, I'll be honest with you, man, I'm just impressed. Tell me, like, with his poise yeah. and different things like that he does, is, is that some stuff that you just taught him early on? Well, I, I think it's a lot. Yeah, for sure. I've been coaching him ever since he's been in kindergarten. So, um, and just being around the game, he's a student of the game. He likes to watch basketball. I mean, he's just a sponge. So, um, you know, he want to be the best. He always asks me questions about what he can do to, you know, obviously make it to the NBA or all those type of things. So, he, he's focused in that regard. And, and I'm, 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 a, I'm a proud dad as far as just kind of seeing how he's maturing and just, um, seeing how his journey is going to get the way he want to get. Now, is it, is, am I correct in saying your other son is hurt? Yes, yes, Mason okay. is hurt. Yeah. He got his haircut. Yeah. He okay, does. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like, he, 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 yep, he just cut his hair last night, which I was proud of too. Oh, you was uh, proud of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I always mess with him all the time. He's now my number one son. So since he got his haircut, <laughs> but he, he got hurt in practice yesterday, which is unfortunate. This is a big game. Pascal is a good team. They're athletic. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, interested to see how they handle the second half. Yeah, Jackson, I, I was telling Talante that, you know, Jackson Academy, and even I kind of teased with you, they came in undefeated. Pascal was on a, like a 10-game winning streak. Yeah. And you could tell, they like, they, the first time I saw them play was the first game of the year, and you could, and they was without Keelan Rich as well. And you can tell it was their first game of the year versus today. It, like, they're hitting on all cylinders. What do you think Jackson Academy has to do in the next half? Turnovers, man. Okay. Turnovers. You can't you can't turn the ball over against an athletic team like them. They're getting out in transition and getting easy. So, as athletic teams, you want to protect the ball and make them score in half court. You know, they want to get out and get steals and get out and run. So, hopefully uh, coach, coach is back there showing that, thought, showing that up and making sure they protect the ball. And just uh, they're, th they're a three-point shooting team, so they got to make some shots. Coach, you've been on the road. T, you got something? Yeah, I got I got a question. Uh, what, what sparked the kids to move over from Texas to Mississippi? I know it's a different style of play yeah. in both places. What, what sparked that move? They're dead. You know, I'm here. Uh, obviously, I was moving around, and I was in Alabama. Um, and they was just uh, – I didn't want to move around too much. But it point where I'm here for a while, so – um, you know, they got – Mike got two more years, Mason got three, so I don't plan on going nowhere before that. Speaking of that, at Jackson State, you know, you guys had a big power I win against Missouri. You've been on the road, obviously, forever. Uh, talk to Sabine. You know, you, you obviously was an NBA player. You used to play sometimes 100-some games. Compare – Compare the 82 grind of an NBA season to, and I know you may not be able to compare it, but how, it doesn't compare at all, like the grind being no, on the road as yeah, the head coach? Yeah, yeah, no, I do. I mean, we left June, uh, uh, not June, but November 5th, and we, we didn't get back to November 20th. You don't have that much of a uh, long road trip like that in the NBA. You know, your longest road trip might be 10 days. So for us, just going on the road, getting on the plane, not flying private, you right. know, we on side. Southwest in the middle seat, right. you know, and we got to show up and um, play a game against a, a quality opponent. So it makes us better. And, and guess what? We we was able to get four of those wins with one, one more opportunity here before some season start. That's right, because you got Arkansas State, you got Missouri, yep. and who else? You got Howard, and Howard, North Carolina, North, 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 big, yeah, big in, in Vegas. I think. Yeah. How was that trip with that you? That was lovely, man. The that Chris Paul invitation. Chris Paul, I mean, they did a great job of putting it on. And able to uh, highlight our HBCU, four quality opponents. And obviously, we, we were the only uh, team to come out 2-0. You know, I, I, I talked to Conzo Martin recently about doing something similar uh, when he was at Missouri last. I like what Chris Paul did. Don't get me wrong. 
but I, I heard some people say they wish he would have done it on an HBCU campus. What's your thoughts on that? Like, well, all right, listen, I'm just happy it, it got done. So, I'm so not, you ain't gonna, tripping. I'm, yeah, I'm right. not going to be a critic about it, man. I'm just <laughs> right. blessed um, to be able to be a part of it. I mean, they took care of all our expenses. We didn't, they fed us good. Can't beat we that. stayed in really nice hotels. I mean, he did it uh, on a high level, high quality. So, I mean, obviously you always try to, uh, you know, expand or do something. What can you do better? Um, obviously they'll get to the drawing board and figure it out, but I, I was satisfied with the event. Oh, yeah. I probably was a good experience for the kids as well. Coach, I appreciate you coming by. I'm going to let you get back to the second half. I appreciate half you guys. Time. Yeah. That's Mo Williams, y'all, from Coach Mo Williams from Jackson State. Well, Delonte, I mean, this article is only going to get better. I'm telling you, if you're not out here at the Bass Invitational, you are missing it. It's only going to get better. This has, to me, been the best scoring game. Well, I, I, th I, I think the second half, gone. I think it's going to slow down a lot. I'm sure Jackson Academy will come in and make some adjustments. Um, if I'm Pascagoula, I don't know if I don't know if I'm make too many adjustments. Just keep doing what we've been doing. You know, I might make an adjustment if we have to, if, if things start going wrong. But as of right now, you know, the pressure. Uh, they have way more athletes on the other side. So that's been the tale of the game so far. Do you think this game maybe? Do you get both? both the, uh, the, the Pascagoula I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it might get to mid- just depending if they slow it down, we might get to about 65, 70. If it's a fast, if it's a fast-paced game like the first half, yeah, they definitely uh, both get into the 70, 80 range. I'll make this prediction: if it goes into the 80s, I'm gonna lean toward, I'm gonna lean toward Pascagoula winning the game. If if J.A. can stop it and get it to the 65, 70 right. range, well, I, I may well, lean well, toward It's, 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 it's kind of like Coach Mohan said: you got to think uh, they're they're a three-point shooting team. If they start making shots, it's a totally different ball game. Here they inbound the ball. They come in and make a big shot right here. They cut that thing down. Now the pressure on them a little bit. And nice. there you go. <laughs> nice hey, pool. That young fella right there has a nice looking stroke. Nah, he, he That's a good Tyler Chambers. Good, good 3 D guy. He locking up on defense. Super composed. He has the, he has the privilege of guarding. Was Man. supposed to be Pascagoula's best player in Doran McMillan. So he has a tough task. Ah, big rebound by Tyler, and here's the foul. And like you said, first half they let them play. They come off and call, a, you know what I'm saying, a touch foul right touch there. Touch so foul. Well, you have to think about it now. The first, think about the first half. First touch foul really was on Mike Williams, who didn't get in. He, he didn't get any more fouls. So That's true. hopefully they'll have that mindset. That's true. Gator, no. I think it's too early to be taking shots like that. I think they need to work it around. Get a better shot than that. And that's really not what, like, that's not Gator. Yeah, he's more of a slash into the yeah, basket type like, of ball. And he can hit that when he's wide open, but I don't know if I want him off the, the bounce doing that. Ooh, a lot of contact, and then there's a the charge. That was a good charge to take. Yeah, he took that on McMillan. You know, Tyler uh, Lyles is a football player, so that, that contact didn't mean nothing to him. Absolutely nothing. Oh, good lane. Good lane for J.A. All right, um, we got a timeout here, 40-34. 637 remaining. We'll come right back.
40-36. Blake Nello, oh. Back court. Caleb Gator, Caleb Gator, you know, for me is one of the top defensive guards in the state. He's definitely on my all defensive team. He's got a tough challenge tonight in standing in front of Blake uh, Nettles, though, I can tell you that. Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a tough one. And we got to remember, he's just a sophomore, so. Oh, nice pass uh, by Lyle. I got to finish that one. Williams definitely got to finish. Here and he can dunk it. Will he finish it? Oh, oh no, he lost it. Eee. I don't like that call, man. If you're not going to call a foul, you got to give him the ball back. You got to give him the ball back if you're not going to call the foul. I, I, I can get with that. That's like refereeing like one-on-one -on -one right there. If, if you miss the call, you got to give him the ball. Back door again. Missed it. Lyles gets the rebound. Oh, wow. He just bodied his way up there, got it back. He's a bully. No foul. That's a good, good pull up. Great, great ah. pull up. There's Lyles again. Just dominating. Oh, oh, man. Hey! Tyler Lyles. Hey, we got a look. I told you. I'm fancy right now, EV. You looking? Pa pa Sixties Pasca is looking real good Pas right now. Pascagoula. J.A. came out, made that adjustment, making it a half-court game, slowing that tempo down. Now they're going to have to make plays. Good defense. That's a good call. Good defense. That's a good call. So now what they didn't do in the first half, J.A. didn't make Pascagoula run anything in the half-court. Right. But now we're going to have to see, them, see what they can do inside the half-court. I think uh, Blake Nettles will be big time in this to see. If he can find open guys like he did earlier in the in the first half. Ooh. Good pass. Hey. Ooh. There's another good defensive play. Lyles gets it back. Good load. Thought about it too late. Nettles with his head up, pushing. Has he? I go right around you. I lay you with the left on Blake Nettles. 44 38, and just like that, Pascagoula goes on runs. Oh, and Mike Williams shoots it too deep, I thought. Chris North, he's wide open. He doesn't give it to him. Rich, now you may have to get a timeout if they score here. He missed it, though. Mike Williams gets it, and here comes the push. Oh, he goes right around. And Mike, I Williams, lay you. Mike Williams can be so lethal oh, man. inside of transition, man. He's so fast. Uh, crafty finisher at the rim. Yes, sir. It was on his left side, finishing <clears throat> with his right. Love it. 44, Blake Nellis took one in the eye. You know, and I'll be honest with you. I know the ref didn't see it, but I he just ought to have a little bit more compassion right there. The guy got raked, raked in the eyes, and he acted like, no, like nothing happened. Chris North. Hey, Chris North been having a Hey, I'm going to just tell you this, man. I don't know what year he is. I got to take a look at it, but I like his size. He hits some shots. He's a Juco kid for me now. Uh, man, to me, I mean, in a game like this, I know it's a showcase. We still have to call the obvious fouls. Like, when I'm on a four-hand shot, I'm getting slapped on my arm. I got to call it. Well, here's the thing. Only thing about it. that, Talante, they're, they're not calling it both ways. It'd be different if somebody was getting it on one end and they're not getting it on the other. I agree. It should have been – there should be maybe some more calls. But, again, I just want consistency. I can live with that. 47-40, pass the Goulas. Moved it out to seven again. Good pass. Chris North. Yeah, he's, he's, he's legit. He's legit. Somebody from Juco is going to offer. He, he's, he's earned the offer. Chris, Chris uh, he got an offer today if he's a if he's a single offer today. Yeah, Somebody I'm, offered him today. I'm looking at his body. He, he looked like probably he's an offer kid today. 
if he ain't got no, <laughs> somebody gonna offer him today. Now, if he's a junior, woo. If he's young, woo. The pool. Caleb Gator, wow. no. And just like that, after J.A. comes out, Pascagoula is back up 10. Pascagoula, uh, we thought they were undefeated. They're 11 and 1. I didn't think they were undefeated. I knew. I saw them lose. Uh, J.A. is undefeated. Yeah, Chris, Chris North is a senior. Oh, yeah. He's Ju a senior. I, I, don't, I haven't seen anybody offer him yet. He will get one today. If he doesn't, somebody's wrong. And, I, and I, there's several Juco kids, coaches here. Oh, uh, he pulling. Uh, that's that's a tough say, shot. Yeah, you hit that. But, hey, you deserve it. You can hit two in a row. That's good a, low. That's a good bucket. I lay you. I mark this good low. I know how to play, too. Missed it. Good hustle by number 11 to keep it alive. That's what the hustle guys do. That's Tylen Wilson. Keelan Reed, that's a travel. You traveling, son. You traveling. You traveling. Safe and, that travel is brought to you by Safe and Sound Transportation. We'll take you where you want to travel. 40, 52, 42. This is a big possession here, 152. It, you want to try to get this. You want to definitely try to score this time. There's your shooter. He hits, he shoots it off the backboard. Look at Williams' touch, good hustle. McMillan comes down with it. That's a good move. Ball in, this is it. And oh. Yeah, so if you see uh, <clears throat> the referees have tightened up on the whistle in the second half, and I told you that will probably be a deciding factor inside the game. Uh, with a minute and 26 left, Pascagoula leads J.A. 50-42. to 42. Uh, E.B., we might hit the 70s. It's looking like it. Pascagoula starting to get easy buckets. That's 52. Chris North, that's eight points for him in this quarter, at least I know. I know he's got two threes in that left-hand layup. Yeah, he had, he had 10 at halftime, so oh. he, he played with like 20. Oh, yeah. He <clears throat> Game being delayed. Game's being stopped. Somebody has blood on their jersey. No on their pants. Fifty-two, forty-two, one twelve remaining. Mike Williams. Good move. Wow. Gotta make those. Fifty-four seconds remaining. 10-point ball game. Been a good one here. A good pass. Hand by Mike Williams, and he gets the steal. All the way to the oh, – Oh, good hey! Move. I lay you on Mike Williams. Hey, Mike 52, Williams is a blur 44. inside of transition. Um – that's a big bucket for him. He's going to have to have a big fourth quarter if they want to have a chance at winning this game. Looks like Pascagoula will hold for the last shot. Now, here's the thing. If they're going to hold for it, let it be the last one. Too early, but Good he shot. scores it anyway. Dory McMillan, this gives Mike Williams a chance. He'll have the last shot. You do the runner, <laughs> <laughs> and that was a nasty Ooh. split right there, buddy. Boy, we got a lot going on here. 54, 30, 54, 44. I don't know if we get to 80, but we definitely having a good one. 54, 44. 
We'll be right back. Morning to the four. All right, here we go in the fourth. Oh, nice pass. He just did not hold on to it. A good pass by, I mean, Pasagula got three really good guards, and I'm telling you, man, I like them all. And Keelan Rich, Blake Nettles, and, and uh, Jordan McMillan. Nettles is still, he got hit in the eye. Oh. Uh, I think for Jay, I think they just kind of settled for jumpers too much in the third quarter, or well, really the whole game. Um, I think they needed to get to the basket, keep that clock stopped, try to get some stops to, to, to stay in this game. Because if not, they keep trying to run, it's going to be – it's going to get ugly. Oh, good shot. That pass is by number 10, Cladarius Ross. We bring in, as we bring in right now, it's 56-44. We bring in Kaysen Burt, assistant coach at Moorhead State. Kaysen, I, I know you can't really talk about players per se, but how have you enjoyed this game? Ben, the game is really competitive right now. The event itself is, is great. Uh, I think uh, Thomas Snacks Lee has done a great job of putting together the schedule and, and having great competition playing amongst each other. It's great. Yeah, this is probably our best game of the day as far as action. Correct, correct. You know, it's been a lot going on. Good pass back, McMillan, right here. Good big time rebound. JA has to get a basket here as they are in danger. You know, of a couple more baskets, it could be over. But as long as you got Mike Williams with JA, you have an opportunity. You ha they have a chance. Caleb Gator kicks it over to Goodlow for three. He fakes back to Gator. Uh-uh, penetrate. That's a tough one. No. Big rebound by Dorian McMillan. i tell you this, Talante. Now, you can say what you want. Uh, McMillan to me, now, that, I mean, long, 6'3". I mean, he looks like a pretty good prospect to me. <laughs> yeah, we're going to let you ride with that one. Blake hey, uh, Nettles, Coach, great pass. Coach Burst, I, I know you get to see a lot of basketball everywhere. How far do you think or how, how do you look at the level of competition for Mississippi high school basketball versus, let's say, a Georgia, Maryland area? Because I know a lot of a lot of top college-level prospects come from those areas. So how, how far do you think we're off? I, think, well, I don't think we're far off. I think we just get under-recruited and undervalued as a state. I think it's a uh, prime talent here and, and guys that really play basketball. But I just think those states that you just named are a location that people go to all the time, like a, a Georgia area and the Floridas of the world. Um, and I don't see Mississippi as that, as that kind of uh, place. But I think it's really, really great talent here. I think it's guys that can play. All you do is you have to nurture their game a little bit and keep on coaching them. And keep on them. Yeah, I, the way this is run, Snacks has done a great job up here at the Bassa Invitational. And obviously, Talante, you on events. We all put on, but this is really good. And I think this is a type of event that could contract. This could uh, uh, attract uh, out of, even some out-of-state teams who could come here and then potentially get more, you know, even more coaches from all over. Uh, Burke, 
tell, talk to me about this, though. You know, obviously the former Jackson State for 10 years. Uh, now at Moorhead State, this is your second year, and Moorhead State, you know, winning the OVC regular season championship. Was that the first one they've ever won or they won in a long time? Or what, what was that? That was the first one in, in, in 30 years, 40 years. Uh, and so they won, they won one in, in 1983. And uh, the first one they won in 40 years. And it was a, it was a good it was a good, uh, it was a good team. Uh, they, it, those guys played hard and listened to the coaching staff and, and really, really d d dug into what we were trying to teach them and, and uh, won a, a great regular season championship. Got upset by Seymour uh, in, the, in the tournament. And, we didn't like that part of it, but overall, it was a great season. Well, here you go. It's 58-44 at the uh, 534. We'll stay here and just continue to talk to Coach Burt and talk about a little basketball. Uh, J.A. is down, 58-44. I mean, one thing, let me ask you this, Burt. You know, you're, in, <laughs> you're in Kentucky. You go all over. Uh -huh. You know, is there, like, are there DJs, like, like it is here in Mississippi. I mean, is it a club or a basketball game? Hey, I'm trying to figure that out right now. He, he, like, like he, he got the, the music rocking in here right now. I mean, if he ain't got that thing, got a whole uh, whole different type deal, man. It's like, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, he got a rocket in here. Got the is it, is it like that other places, too, Dark? Not like, not like it is in Mississippi. The basketball environment that I've been around, especially in the next area and throughout Mississippi, they want to make it a fun field environment. You know, had the, the, the fans cheering and, and being rowdy, and I, I really appreciate me back home and seeing this kind of environment. I got a question for you, Coach Burke. How, how is George Marshall been playing? I, I, I like to follow the kids and look at some of the box scores. I know the box scores don't tell everything on how they're developing. I know he's just a sophomore. He was one of our you know, best players when he was in high school here. How has he been doing? And Mike Williams. Yeah, George, George Marshall is, is a tremendous talent. Um, he's been doing great for us. He's the sixth man off the bench right now for a team that's 9-4 and four, going to league play. And, and has one of the best starts uh, they had in a very, very long time at, at Moorhead State. But he, he's progressing. Uh, he has like a lot of guys, the older guys in front of him in terms of this, got a little more experience. But he right there with him in, as far as talent. Okay, and uh, Pow Pow, we all know in our, on our coaching staff that he's one of the most talented guys that we have. And he's been a joy to coach thus far at Moorhead State. As we get back to the action, Mike Williams has had the last two baskets, a layup, and I dunk you. I'm Mike Williams. Here is J.A. Do they have another run in them? What do you say, Talante? Do they have another run in them? I mean, it's looking like um, I don't know, man. I, I think Pascal Gula going to make another push here. And probably run up the score about 10 more points. Um, if Mike can't get anything going, it seems like the other guys are kind of, you know what I'm saying, gotten cold. That's another missed three. I think this might, I think this might kind of be ball game. Uh, Pascal Gula might cruise to a victory in this one. Four minutes, 222 is a long time. You said that mighty early, so that means the, the fat lady is warming up. Yeah, I mean, um, of course, you know, not having a shot clock. We're we finna start to see some, um, some stall ball a little bit. And, and like I keep talking about Blake, I really like Blake Nettles for a sophomore. I mean, he's tough. Uh, he, he, he's a big body guard. I wouldn't be surprised, you know what I'm saying? I know uh, a lot of college coaches recruit out of the transfer portal now, but, um, you know, if, if it was about four or five years ago before that happened, I think we'll have a lot of low major, mid major guys coming from Mississippi. So that, that's just my opinion. Um, I think we have a lot of great, talented kids, uh, like Coach Burke has said. I do feel like we're under recruited. And um, I think we have a couple of guys in college right now who are making a statement for Mississippi kids uh, to get recruited because they're doing pretty well so far. Coach Burke, talk about, you know, Talante alluded to the transfer portal. You guys have an NAI kid. Talk to us a little bit about how the transfer portal has a, has helped you guys. Uh, I mean, you know, you got you to make it the best of what the situation is. And you can't complain about it. It's just the climate of college basketball right now. And, and, and we understand that. And so it's almost like a trickle effect. You know, we got a kid. That's really, really uh, been successful for us this year from NAI level who wanted to play Division One in Riley minutes. He averaged right about 17 points a game and nine rebounds. And he's a tremendous young man and coach. Um, he's coming in with a lot of experience. Uh, he had probably over 2,000 points and over 1,000 rebounds at his, at his uh, school in Florida. But he came in with a lot of experience and he wanted to play Division One, and, and we were fortunate to get him. Uh, it, was a, it was a process that – you know, we, we knew him a little bit after when he went into the transfer portal. He's doing well for leading scorer right now for us. 
Uh, probably the second leading scorer in the OVC and probably the top five rebounds as well. How does it feel, Coach? Now, think about this. This has never been done, so we're, we're in new waters. How does it feel to have to re-recruit your players? It's tough. It, it is tough. I mean, but that's, that's all about trying to cultivate the relationship that you had with them when you was recruiting them. Um, Re-recruiting the situation is, is, is a tough thing because you, you feel like these guys are already on my team. They're already on the sign. But that's, 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 not, that's just the surface level of everything. You really got to, you know, re-recruit them, make them understand they're still part of the plan because what it is now is all teams are different every year. And so they got to understand where you where you going to fit them in the following year and because it might be a little bit different. So re-recruiting the players is just to climb what we do in college basketball. Uh, let, let me ask you this. And, again, there's a kid out here, number three, won't call his name, but aren't you kind of like he's had a good game? He's at 18. Aren't you surprised that he has no JUCO offers? Can you say anything about that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> at least that, <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I know we we, we pushing the envelope yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, <laughs> hey, one thing about you, Ed, man, you gonna operate in gray areas all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, you you gonna try to operate in gray areas? But <laughs> hey, look, I, I I definitely appreciate it. But I will say, like overall, it's it's a lot of guys out here that can play basketball on this floor right now. Who, uh, who's definitely catching my eye. Uh, hey, I thought he was going to dunk that, but no. You're going to hit you with the uh, dunk you very much? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me this, Evie, how you been enjoying, you know, being at this event, and what do you think about the event thus far? I think the event is, uh, you know, uh, I like how you flipped the geek on me. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's a very quality event. I've been at, like, at events all over the country. Like, one in particular reminds me of is the John Wall Holiday Invitational in, okay. uh, in Rock. North Carolina, where you know the likes of Brandon Ingram and all types of people, Dennis Smith Jr. and in, I think this has that type of potential. The atmosphere, um, the the you know thing that the ESPN SBO winner award winner has has got here, you know it, it's right there. And as we talk about this, here comes the run. This is a big three. Ah, I needed that one. That was a game. That was a game changing play right there. Oh, I thought it was going to dunk and it. And then Chris North lays it up. That that right there, like, it, it could have went, it went from five. It could have been five. Now it goes to nine. That is, uh, some, you know, <laughs> that's, 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 that's challenging right there. Uh, but, but, yeah, it's, it's a very good event, man. A lot of – I love the response for the coaches. I love the response for the people. The all's missing. You know what's only missing? What, it's missing, missing one thing. What is that? It's missing JPS fan type of, like, dumbness. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, it, like, it, 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 we, it's not, we, so, we, we ain't got the Provine Callaway atmosphere. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have the Provine Callaway, you know, like jam-packed. Wayne Brent, I'm, you know, Luther Riley atmosphere. Oh, man, yeah, that, that those atmospheres was great. It, it, so you looking for the rise of the crowd a little bit. I, I need so, a little, that's the only thing. So what you're saying is, like, when, when, when a guy that just shot a three, you looking for the woo? Yeah, I'm looking for all, all that. that. Because yeah. the, 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 the acoustics here <laughs> at Mississippi College, like, just fits that to a whole other level. <laughs> like, if we, that's the only thing that's missing. I, I, I think in that, and that's, that's like, everywhere, uh, people don't really come out like they usually. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, we got a stream going right now. Some people are just rather sit at home and watching instead of coming out. So, uh, even even when you bring in like the big name, the five stars, people just don't really come out like they used to come. Well, see, and this is where I think that's the only thing where North Carolina is different. Like North Carolina, you bring in a big name, they are like it's a different. We having a different conversation. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, because I was at the hoops giving for Thanksgiving. That's one of the big tournaments in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? They had. Um, <clears throat> they had two five stars. Uh, the Boozer twins played against. Uh, ah, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. He's like one of the number one players in the country, though, for the 2024 class. Mm. Uh, he'll definitely be a pro at McEachern. Got you. Here it is, 53. Oh, ah, uh, uh, both uh. two misses, and then Mike Williams gets it. They lose ball, don't get it. Yep, they just, you know. Uh, they had their chances. I think we were both wrong. I, I thought Pascagoula, if they got into the 80s, was going to win. You thought if we stayed in the 60s, it was going to be J.A. J, J. I mean, it's still. But I mean, they just can make shots. Yeah. <laughs> but J.A. still uh, is going to probably take their first 
Well, not probably. It looks like they're going to take their first one. I mean, but just just looking at it, uh, JF still be probably they're not probably they are a top three. Um, oh, ain't no question. In MAIS, uh, they're Pasco, top. They're Pasco. top three team, like top five. NES, <laughs> MHS, you know, <laughs> BS. <laughs> <laughs> they they really good now. And, and Pascagoula definitely a top five uh, MH, MHSA team. So uh, it, it was a really good game. Um, ooh. I think today, I think it was simple. Chris North, you know, Came here, nobody knew who he was. He walks away here probably with the MVP. He's our MVP. What's your thoughts? Nine for 11 from the field. I mean, he, he was good. Uh, like I had said in the first half, he was unguardable. Oh, good move, Mike. Uh, Mike tough. Williams. Uh, it, he was good. They couldn't stay in front of him. I think uh, when he started trying to shoot the threes, he stepped away from his game. Well, let me uh, number, five, number five had the first half. Um, well, let me just say this. In stepping away from his game, he was 9 for 11 from the field so far and 2 for 4 from the three. So, Maybe the three oh. is his game because <laughs> he, he still shot 50% from – matter of fact, that's the only shots he missed was the two the two, uh, two threes. But I'm going to tell you this. For this kid not to have – again, unless this is the best game he's ever had in his whole entire life. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm like, a, unless this is, like, not for real. I, 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 did, I did make a tweet about it. I tweeted about a guy um, last week at the Columbus New Hope game. He had offers. The next day, he called me like, man, I got three, four offers already. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So maybe, you know, sometime maybe it's us. You know, we didn't Ain't do no our question. due diligence <laughs> to get them, you know what I'm saying, out there. Because Mississippi is one of the biggest states. From top to bottom, it probably takes six hours to travel. So I know everybody can't get out to see everybody. Um, so, you know, maybe he's just one of those guys. Like like you said, they have three guards and Blake Nettles, the sophomore, uh, Keelan Rich, and uh, Dorian McMillan. So, Sometimes you can get overshadowed by having those type of guys on your team. Yeah, I, I don't understand, to be honest with you. That kid, it, it's Juco. Like, what we doing? What we doing? <laughs> we, ain't, we not asking him to go to Duke or <laughs> Ole Miss. We talking about Mississippi Gulf Coast. You right there. That kid is long. He's got a college body. I mean, he can shoot it. Like, I mean, like, what we doing? It's fourteen. It's fifteen JUCOs in, in, in Mississippi. I mean, well, we got quite a few. Somebody, of them. we got quite a few of them in here right somebody now. Somebody should be able to say, "Ooh, now nah, he's definitely made an impression." They, you, they, know, you know, now they be like, "Ah, man, does he do this good?" I'm like, "Man, yeah, y'all yeah. recruit the same people. You got to yeah. get somebody." Yeah, stay in character. <laughs> That's what we got. to do. We got to stay in character, man. Y'all ain't like that. Okay, good, Tyler. Yep, playing to the end. That's good to play to the end. But it's over. It's over. It's like I like the coach. Well, I you coach did, you did say end. it was going to get to 70. Ah, he missed it. And it did. <laughs> there it is. And that's it. That's your final score. We appreciate you, Coach Burke, for stopping by, man. I appreciate y'all, man. For, ha you know, like just coming in, gracing us with your presence. <laughs> One of the top assistant coaches in the country, Casey Burke, coach at Moorhead State. They hadn't won a championship until he got on the staff. That's all I can say. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> He you, did you. recruit, the, and then he recruited the OVC Player of the Year. I appreciate you, EV. All right. All right, brother. Yes, sir. All right, we'll have the MVP coming up shortly, which will be uh, uh, Chris North. You know, Chris North uh, will be the MVP here today. He doesn't know it yet, but we know it. <laughs> and we'll be bringing him on for – for the uh the the interview. Hey, tell the coach and the MVP to come over here after when they get done. Just let them know. Mike Williams gets the best player on the, the losing team did here today. Did, did, did and I know people on the stat like sheet that. already. No, he had not brought the stat sheet yet. 20 points from Mike Williams. That's a custom for him. Uh, he's been averaging around that 17, 20 a game. So yeah, that was an easy. I, I I wouldn't say he had his best game tonight, but to finish with 20, it's still really. Good.
Chris North gets the MVP. He'll come over here shortly. And uh, get his time to shine here on uh, the show. Well deserved. Played, played incredible. Right, he was very, he was very good. Today. And then I, I love the effective. fact that you know when you look at his, he, you know he looks humbled. His team is excited about it. Yeah, you and, know, and, like and, that, and, that, and, that, and that just shows you they have a great team camaraderie right there when yeah. they're celebrating everybody. Yeah, they're they're playing. They're right now. They're warm. They're playing well. Hey, Chris. 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 What's up, man? Good game, coach. All right, we have uh, game MVP Chris North here today. Chris, congratulations on winning today. Hey, listen, man. I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I saw you guys play the first game, and I didn't remember. But today, you made everybody remember you. You were nine for eleven from the field, two for four from the. Uh, from the free from the three point land, the lot land of plenty. You had 20 points. Talk to us about your performance today. Uh, uh, I just I just sit back and wait for whatever's gonna come to me. You know, I'm not looking for it. I'm not overdoing it. I, I, I accept my role. I got two I got two outstanding teammates, uh, Dory McMillan and Keelan Rich, and I, I admire playing with those guys. Listen, you know, and then you got Blake Nettles at your point guard, yes, so sir. they they are. You know, like obviously are ahead of you in per se, as far as as far as as far as everybody else. But today, I'm just telling you, you have made your name known. There's no way in the world that you shouldn't have a. Do you have any JUCO offers right now? No, sir. Well, you will after today. Yes, sir. There's no doubt about it. you're a senior, right? Yes, sir. There's no way in the world that you don't walk out of here today without an offer. If they don't, if somebody don't offer you today, something wrong with them. I'm just telling you that. I've been coaching. For 30 years, I've coached at the college level. You've done a phenomenal job, man. Do you feel like you can play at the next level? Yes, sir. And it's always been a dream. I know I can. I know I can strive wherever I'm placed. I'm a, I'm a versatile, versatile player. You know, wherever you put me, I'm gonna rock that position. If you had to say what is Chris North's best attri attribute, what do you? What's, what, what's the best thing that you do? Defense. Defensive player of the year. That's where I strive. Okay. I, I love to get nasty. I don't okay. got the. Well, I tell you this, Chris. Congratulations, man! I am so glad to meet you, EB. That's my name, Chris North. I'm glad to know your name. Good job, congratulations. I'm gonna give you, get you to your coach. Kevin Cole say you solid every night. That's what K Cole say. Listen, coach. Congratulations tonight. Big win. Uh, the last time I saw you was out without Keelan Rich. You guys lost that game. I can tell it's a two totally different. It's, it's not. It's night and day. Yeah. Uh, talk to us today about. Here you go. You, you come in and be the real good Jackson Academy team. What has changed since day one? Uh, just confidence. Uh, having Keelan out. Uh, confidence and discipline. So we set him out for a great issue. Uh, he, he responded. He played well. He's played well ever since. Uh, and, and just holding holding guys accountable. So uh, we start a night. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of Chris North. Uh, very underrated man. He showed we can do tonight. Uh, we're led by different guys each night. It's not just Dorian, but it's, every, it's oh. everybody. It's a collective effort. Chris North, to me, like, I, again, I didn't see him play early. Like, if he played in that game, I don't remember. He did. Yeah. yeah he did. But tonight, everybody, he, like, he couldn't been on a bigger stage for him. And I told him, and you may have heard me, if he didn't walk away with a college scholarship today, something wrong with them. I agree. He's underrated, man. He does, he does all the little things for us. He plays multiple positions, man, and he just gets it done for us. So he, he, it, it's not necessarily – he does stuff that you don't necessarily see in the, in the stat sheet sometimes. Sometimes it really shows, and tonight it did for him. Let me ask you this. Does it – it sounded like he, – he sounds very coachable. Very, very, very. He, he's the leader. 
he's the leader. He's the spoken leader. Dorian, Dorian is the uh, the leader just by example, but he's the he's the vocal leader. Let, let me ask you this, coach. I'm always hard on the teams from the south, I but know, uh, <laughs> I know, and I can't wait to see you get Dorian. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, uh, you guys are really, really good. Um, yeah, you got a, a, a great sophomore point guard. You got a great junior guard. You got a great uh, senior guard as well. So how, how, how do you do a good job of keeping everybody happy? Because like you said, Chris had a good game today. I seen the team come out around the bench. They celebrate him getting the MVP. I know sometimes when you're supposed to be the bigger name guys, not getting these awards at these type of events, can, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it can cause a little rash with everybody, but how do you keep everybody engaged and humble to celebrate each other? Man, we got this one phrase that we use, uh, it's Ubuntu, uh, which means I am the way I, I am, who I am because of you. So they've embraced that for the last two years, and that's what it's all about. So when Chris got his award, you saw all the guys celebrating. So they don't really care who gets the credit at all. Say, say, say the word again. Ubuntu. 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 Kombutu. Ubuntu. U N B U N T. Ubuntu. Yeah. Ubuntu. 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 Yeah. All right. I, I like Coach. Congratulations Appreciate again. Thank you for stopping by. Hey man, we might have something from the Coast K Coles. We might have something. Nah, that ain't matter time. Nah, y- 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 y'all look real good, man. Hey, we, 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 look, we, y'all got to make it to Jackson this year. Appreciate hey, I put the pressure on the guys for the North, so I got to put it on y'all too. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good one. All right, now. All right. All right, big dog. All right, well, there you have it. So we'll come back real shortly. We got Richard Starkville next. I'm E.B. DeGager from Talante Weber. We'll see you shortly.